Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series on Chief Pat 2. So as you guys know, I haven't posted a video on this account in a while, and I actually recorded a video where I upgraded that hidden Tesla and my Barbarian King, but unfortunately the video player crashed. So let's go ahead and do another one today and start building some of the new stuff from the new update. So first things first, let's build the mortar that we unlocked at Town Hall 8, as well as do the two skeleton traps. They're only 6,000 gold for level 1, so that's really not that bad. And as seeing as I only have two builder's huts left, I probably can upgrade those with the gold I get from the video. So I'll probably do one of them to level 2, and then using my elixir, I can upgrade something like my dark elixir drill. But now I'm really starting to run out of upgrades that are less than 3 million gold, and uh, things are getting pretty expensive around my base. So for example, I upgraded that hidden Tesla for 3.5 million gold. And then for my fourth in Tesla, that's literally my last upgrade. I think that's below 4.6 million gold. So I think my air defense to level seven is 4.6 million gold. And then after that, the next cheapest would be maybe my expos to level two at 5 million gold. Um, so I'm definitely running out of those cheap upgrades that are under 3 million gold. And uh, it's making it a lot more fun to raid on my not chief pad account where the upgrades are super easy. But I'm gonna still, gonna, still gonna stick it out. I think this is episode 99. So episode 100, we're definitely gonna have to do some sort of all out farming. Uh, thing. So if you guys have any ideas, drop a comment in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and farm some bases today and hopefully we can get enough resources to do those upgrades that we talked about. So for the bases that we're attacking, if you guys remember after the update came out, which was just, I guess, yesterday or two days ago, I actually recorded this video right after the update came out because usually loot is super amazing right after a new update drops because the maintenance break will kick out the players that are online and it'll sort of reshuffle bases around or that's sort of the theory that people think. And uh, a lot of my clanmates were saying that they were finding really good bases and a lot of people on Twitter were saying that they were finding really good bases. And I don't know if it's just me or my luck or I don't know if it was my trophy range, but I was certain and I wasn't finding anything and uh, I guess since this video is edited down you guys just see that I get the first base that's amazing and has over 400,000 resources but it really took a long time searching and I wasn't finding any of those abandoned bases that I really was so accustomed to seeing because usually after maintenance break you see a ton of those and that's all my clanmates were saying that they were getting 300,000 gold and 300,000 elixir and they were all sharing their replays whereas I was finding these bases that had a lot of stuff in the in the storages and I was finding I was finding that I had to do a lot of searching before I really found a base that was super easy and I guess that's sort of a first world problem so I'll stop complaining but yeah let's do this raid right here same exact army composition just going to tear tear through a couple of the walls on the outside because there are some gold mines and elixir pumps that are behind one layer of wall but I think this should be a pretty easy raid and we should be able to get most of the resources from the mines and pumps that last raid i think it was about 50 50 between the mines and pumps if not more in the storages so i'm hoping on this one that we don't leave a lot behind and we'll be able to steal most of the resources from the base so it looks like he only has 200,000 left. So we've already stolen a pretty good amount. I'm gonna go ahead and cut through this wall on the bottom left. It looks like there's three collectors in there. So I'll take those out. Same thing on the top left. There's one gold mine and elixir pump. So I'm gonna take those guys out. And then on the top right, there's a dark elixir drill. So I'll probably do that towards the end. And looking at if I can get 50%, I'm not really too worried about trophies right now. I think I'm somewhere around 1700. So if I lose, uh, really not too big of a deal. I don't wanna waste all my troops, but let's see what we can do and see if we can end up getting all the resources. So there's only 50,000 left. I definitely think that's a pretty good victory. I'm gonna drop my last giant on this top left, or sorry, I'm gonna drop one of my giants on the top left right here, as well as take care of that last elixir pump. And then I'm gonna wrap it up by dropping a giant on the top right and taking care of that dark elixir pump. So pretty solid raid. I wish there was a little bit more dark elixir. I'll probably get somewhere around 70 from this pump, I'm guessing. And uh, we can surrender after that, and I guess I'll just take the trophy loss. Because even though I'm gonna be at around 40 to 41%, it's really not worth it if I have to drop the rest of my troops um, or my clan castle because there really isn't any other there really aren't any other buildings on the outside so I'm just gonna go ahead and surrender there take my 400,000 gold or 400,000 resources move on to the next base and hopefully we can find some more stuff so for this base here, 279,000 gold, 289,000 elixir, definitely more of what I was looking for after a new update had just come out, and let's see if we can destroy this guy's base. So this guy does have a pretty good amount inside of his mines and pumps. You can see the elixir pumps are pretty full, you can see the gold mine carts are pretty full, um, but he also has a little bit inside of the storages, so I'm sort of calculating where I want to attack from on that front. Looking at his base, I guess I'm a little bit more focused on gold, even though elixir is what I need for the upgrade, I'm definitely going to have enough to get that done. So I'm going to attack through the bottom left because that's where most of the gold storages are there's two gold storages on the bottom left compared to one on the top right as well as the town halls on the bottom left so let's go ahead and attack from that side and see if we can steal most of this guy's stuff all right, so 300,000 left. We've stolen over 100,000 already from the mines and pumps uh, in each of those. 
and now I'm going to drop my giants and wall breakers and see if I can make my way in the center. This is why I saved my clan castle though. I definitely didn't want to use my clan castle on the last raid just to get 50%, whereas I can use it on this one and definitely get more uh, get more resources and trophies. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. See if we can get two stars and we should be able to surrender and do our upgrades after this raid. So giants are going down, goblins are going down. I'm sort of just dropping my goblins one by one. There are two wizard towers in the center, so I want to make sure that my goblins don't get shot down all at once. Even though I have the giants distracting, sometimes the wizard towers can go crazy and destroy your goblins, so I want to make sure I don't drop them too fast. All right, so I've destroyed most of the storages, and there is a gold storage right here, and when I was dropping my goblins on the very bottom, they looked like they were going to the right, and they really weren't running towards that storage, so I'm going to drop them right here, and even though I don't have any wall breakers, they were strong enough to break through the wall and do a lot of damage against that gold storage. So I think this was a pretty good raid, even though we didn't steal all the resources for the army composition we had, we did pretty well. I think we stole about maybe three storages as well as we got all the mines and pumps. So even though we left 150,000 resources on the table, which is pretty sad, we got over 400,000 resources, 21 trophies, and we definitely have enough to do our upgrades. So let's head back to base, go ahead and do the skeleton trap and dark elixir drill, and then we can sort of cry about how the upgrades are getting more expensive, and that'll wrap it up for the video. Alright, so collecting from my mines and pumps. Again, like I said, I upgraded my Barbarian King in the last video. I think that's what I'm spending most of my Dark Elixir on now, seeing so as it was only like 22,000 Dark Elixir to upgrade him. And then, yeah, Dark Elixir Drill upgrading to level 5. I think the other one's already level 6, unless I... Or maybe it's level 5, actually. And uh, upgrade the Skeleton Trap to level 2, and that's going to wrap it up for this Let's Play. So I think this is episode 99, if I'm not mistaken. If you guys have any good episodes for, or any ideas for episode 100, like I said earlier, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. I could do some sort of crazy long video. I could do some sort of video where I use an insane amount of army compositions, but I'm sort of excited to celebrate 100 episodes on this account, and I definitely drop any ideas you have in the comment section. That's going to do it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.